All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. So as you can see, we're going to be playing the Gremiashi, the Russian premium destroyer, one of three Russian ships, well, I guess technically four if you count the Diana, that are available in the game between EU and US servers right now since Diana's only on EU. Damn it. But I'm going to be showing off some screenshots right now as the battle develops because um, we're playing the Gremi. Because... Um, Basically, World of Warships announced that Russian destroyers, as well as German cruisers, were going to be coming out on October 19th. Uh, pretty hyped for that. A uh, little less than a month away right now. Um, I'm really excited for both of these lines. I'm actually, I was kind of hoping, I mean, ideally, you know, I'd have a little bit of time in between them, but launching both trees on the same day means I want to be playing a lot of World of Warships in uh, mid to late October but we've got a bunch of different pictures to look at both for the German cruisers and the Russian destroyers what I found what interesting is that like if you think about it every ship um, every nation is gonna have its own style right now but with Russian destroy or with the Gremiashi anyway I noticed that it seemed that the Russians were kind of right in the middle with regards to like where they sat and how they were, you know, what they were good at when compared to Japanese and American destroyers. Um, but basically what they said was that the Russian destroyers were going to be, have very hard hitting cannons, great accuracy and great turret rotations. So they're going to be very, it seems like they're going to be pretty good gunboats. Um, maybe even better than American gunboats. I'm not really sure But I know if you compare the Kiev Which is one of the only screenshots with statistics on it or with you know with all the stats on it Oh my gosh, there are a number of enemy ships coming this way So we're gonna screen everybody with torpedoes, but um the Kiev has better artillery l a lower torpedo value but they have 10 torpedoes and these really cool looking um, quintuplet launchers. Okay, we have been detected. I've been talking about all this stuff. So, oh yeah, the scout plane is what it is. So the cruiser's turning off. All right, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and turn our anti-aircraft off. The cruiser's turning off. And I think I've got around, uh, okay, he's firing. Probably time. Oh man, what a hit right there. We could smoke, but we could just race away. Problem solved, sir. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. But anyway, yeah. Um, and also better maneuverability than the tier seven Mayhan. Man, they're just everything is detecting me right now. Minikaze. Um yeah, so all around I'm really excited for the launch event. And if you think about German cruisers, if they're anything like Oh, here we go. Mr. Omaha, Mr. Sniper. Woo, that was close. We gotta get out of here. The entire enemy fleet seems to be on this side of the map. But we avoided... We lost, what, a little over a thousand hit points? Um, so all around, I'd say we're doing alright. Let's see, who do we want to fire Torps at? You know, right? But we, I would be firing, but I mean, we're pretty outnumbered. But I think if German cruisers are going to be at all resembling of the German battleships that are in the game, like the Tirpitz, well, battleship that's in the game right now, um, I'm wondering if German guns will have a higher velocity. So, you know, similar to German battleship guns. Oops. Just ships everywhere. There's just the entire enemy fleet is over there, it looks like. Mr. Nicholas avoided our torpedoes. I think those were well fired, well placed. He had to evade them. He's getting scouted. But I mean, as far as that, we don't have as much information. They never said in the German cruiser announcement, they were like, hey, this is going to be. You know what? I could. I could go deal with him for you, Mr. Congo. 
I'll go deal with the Nicholas. If you look at this, let's see how quick our turret... The Gremiasha doesn't seem to have very quick turret rotation, but I mean... Let's see... There's a Phoenix coming. Oh, I've been detected again. The damn torpedo planes. So we're gonna dip out. We don't want to get in a firefight with a Phoenix. There's just too many planes. Oh, wow. I really feel like I have to protect these carriers as, as much as possible. And there's two if you look on the minimap. Let's see how the... How hard hitting these are <laughs> when we actually hit. We did incapacitate them on one of the shots. I do have this Phoenix incoming. We took some hits. Look at this bug, like, what's going on over here? I This is a fool's errand to protect our carriers, but you know, someone's got to do it. But anyway, this... Okay, we got, a, we got a hit on the Phoenix, which is all well and good. Alright, getting some nice hits. These are... these do seem like they hit pretty hard. Just gotta avoid this guy, avoid the Phoenix, which will definitely be shooting up our tailpipe here. This damn... like these carriers, man, are just in a terrible spot. Terrible spot. I can do my best to cover them, but I don't know how good it is. And you can see right here that we're definitely having an issue with, what would you say? Oh, you know what? I should be screening him is what I should be doing. Yeah, I think that's what we have to do to save this guy. So we're gonna try it. And then jump torps at both oncoming ships. Slope generator start. Torpedoes, dead ahead! Alright, set him on fire. Incapacitated. I don't know if this smoke's gonna be good enough. But I, I did my best. <laughs> oh god, that's scary. Oh, I think he's dodging. Torpedoes to port. Okay, and we are on fire. We're gonna have to boost out of here. We've got a Tenor U, a Nicholas, an Omaha, Phoenix, all kinds of shit firing at us. We did sink a ship. Which one was that? Destroyer. We sunk an enemy destroyer with torpedoes. So he was far too distracted, clearly. But you know what? We gave him the old torpedoes. As far as German cruisers or Russian destroyers, which one am I excited for the most? I'm not really sure. That's going to be a very difficult question to ask. Is that guy still humping that line? I'm really, I can't focus on any one target. There's just too many of them. And I feel like I have to slowly, I have to help this Langley in some way. Oh my God, there's a Minikaze up here. All right, well the thing, good thing about the Minikaze is yeah, he's got great torpedoes. I've got a battleship up here. Torpedo support, that's where I'm looking. But he doesn't have very good guns, so we're gonna win this gunnery duel, more than likely. Look at that. Oh, those were bad shots. He, he basically broke my ankle if I was like a defender in a sport. There we go. But he can't hide for too long. And I can't really allow myself to just go in a straight line or he can lead me with torpedoes. Especially if I'm like sighted in, that'll be a problem. We could give him some torpedoes to think about, cause him to maneuver. And I think that's what we're gonna do. And we are getting shot up from behind. Come on, give me a hit. Oh my gosh. Oh god, who is chasing me? Oh, frickin' Omaha. Problem solved, well, sir. 
We gotta sink this guy, right? Yeah, we're definitely gonna die. So it's all a matter of can we sink this guy too? No, we're just too many fires. We're being focused down. That got nasty. I'll tell you what, man. Those carriers, and look, the carriers died anyway, so there's a friendly battleship. But anyway, we sank a destroyer with torpedoes. Now let's take a look at some of these pictures all around. They're pretty beautiful. We've got, so when looking at the pictures, we're gonna start out with the German cruisers and we'll work our way to the Russian destroyers. But right here, you can see just a wide assortment of, looks like secondary and maybe I wonder if the, yeah, I guess secondary armament and some torpedoes. I'm not sure if any of those are dual purpose. Um, the German cruiser line, though, is going to be pretty awesome. We do have the names of all of them. And um, let's see. Looks like the tier one is the Hermelin, tier two, Dresden, tier three, Kohlberg, tier four, Karlsruhe, tier five, Konigsberg, tier six, Nuremberg. Tier 7, York. Tier 8, Admiral Hipper. Tier 9, Rune. And Tier 10, Hindenburg. And I know that a lot of people are really, really excited for the Admiral Hipper. Um, that should be a really, really fun ship to play. Um, but as re with regards to like how the German cruisers are going to be relative to American and Japanese cruisers, I'm not sure there's too much information on that out there yet. Like... Um, you know, like, how's it going to be? Like, will the German cruisers have the same kind of velocity guns that the German battleships have? You know, a little more direct, less being able to fire over mountains, but, you know, maybe being able to hit easier at distance or better able to lead enemy targets? I'm not really sure. But we know for one thing, looking at these Russian destroyers now, is that they said they're going to have greater accuracy. Now they're also going to have great turret rotation and the hard hitting cannons. So these things, the Russian destroyers, are definitely going to be um, gunboats. They even said they're going to have good anti-aircraft ability. But I'm not really sure because when you look at the stats of the Kiev right here, that um, the A guns were had a lower value than the Mayhan had, which is an American destroyer, which is known as more, you know, American destroyers are known as gunboats. But the Kiev does have greater maneuverability and greater artillery. Um, and while it has a lower torpedo value, they've got these really cool looking uh, quintuplet launchers where there's two torpedoes on the top and three torpedoes on the bottom. But all around, I'm really excited. So the Russian destroyer line and German cruiser line are both coming out October 19th. So you better believe I'm going to be streaming that. That's going to be a lot of fun. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this was just a fun little announcement. If there's more information coming out or if I miss anything, let me know in the comments below. If there's more screenshots or videos, I'll have a, another hype video in the future. But let me know which line you're looking forward to the most. Are you looking forward most to the Russian destroyers or the German cruisers? And then of all the ships that are going to come out with these two uh, you know, Russian destroyers, German cruisers, which individual ship are you most excited to see? and why anyway ladies and gentlemen i thank you all for watching make sure to pull the trigger on the like button share the video with a friend and i cannot wait for october 19th ladies and gentlemen i'll be seeing you soon